Parents, that phone you are currently using to watch this video is destroying your kid's emotional intelligence. In this video, I will tell you how. I am Dr. Tanisha Burke, your positive parenting coach. Welcome to our channel where we discuss the latest research and best practices in parenting, child development, and supporting the family. In the fast-paced digital age where smartphones and screens are ubiquitous, parenting has taken on new challenges. As parents, we want the best for our children, including their emotional well-being. Recent research conducted by University of California Santa Barbara professor Robin Nabi sheds light on the impact of parental smartphone use on children's emotional intelligence. In the rest of this video, we will explore the findings of this study and discover practical ways to foster emotional intelligence in our children. Before we continue, it is important to understand what emotional intelligence is. So, emotional intelligence is a set of mental abilities that enable a person to recognize, understand, and manage their emotional states. It plays a crucial role in shaping healthy relationships, success in school and the workplace, and for everyone's overall well-being. While some children may be naturally adept, in emotional intelligence, it is a skill set that can be learned, practiced, and developed in all kids. Now that we know the meaning of emotional intelligence, we can look at the details of the study. So Professor Nabi's studies involved 400 parents of children aged 5 to 12. The participants assessed their children's emotional awareness, control, and empathy for others. The study also examined parents' media use and interaction with their children during various activities. The most significant finding was that the parental use of cell phones in the presence of their children was associated with lower child emotional intelligence. An important finding of the study is the still face effect. And this is when parents are so absorbed in their smartphones, they may unknowingly display a lack of responsiveness to their children's emotional needs. This emotional disconnection, which is known as still face effect, negatively impacts the child's development of emotional skills. Children respond to their parents' attention and engagement, and when that connection is compromised, their emotional intelligence can suffer. Now that we know that our use of cell phones around our children can unknowingly create a still face effect and have a negative impact on their emotional intelligence, we can now look at practical strategies we can implement immediately to ensure that we reduce any of these negative effects. The first is to practice mindful cell phone use. Be aware of how often you use your phone around your kids. When your child seeks your attention, make a conscious effort to put down your device and be fully present. And if you want to know how often you are on your phone, if you have an iPhone, for example, you can go into settings and it will tell you the number of hours you have spent looking at your phone. And if you've never done that before, I am guaranteed to, you will be very surprised when you see the tally per day and per week. And even knowing this, you might be incentivized even further to reduce the number of minutes and hours you spend on your phone. Our second tip is to stay engaged. Actively engage with your children during media and non-media activities. Initiate conversations, ask about their emotions, and create a safe space for them to share their feelings. Our third tip is to monitor media content. In the digital age, it's essential to monitor and mediate social media content your children encounter. Use media exploration as an opportunity to discuss emotions portrayed by characters to foster emotional understanding. Our final tip is to be an emotional role model. So demonstrate healthy emotional expression in your daily life activities. Your children learn from observing you. So model positive ways of handling emotions, unexpected situations, or even challenging situations. 
Parenting in the digital age comes with its unique set of challenges and our children's emotional intelligence can be adversely impacted by excessive smartphone use. Armed with the insights from Professor Nabi's study, we can be more mindful and intentional in our parenting approach. By staying engaged, fostering emotional connections and promoting open discussions about emotions, we can nurture emotionally intelligent kids who will thrive in all aspects of their lives. Let's prioritize our children's emotional well-being and raise a generation that is emotionally aware, empathetic and resilient in the face of challenges. Together, we can navigate the digital landscape while keeping our children's emotional growth at the forefront. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more positive parenting content, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future episodes. Thank you so much for joining us and goodbye for now.